The resurgence of vinyl records is not really a new thing, but when it helps with the resurgence of a neighborhood, it is. The store Black Plastic Vinyl has sold records in Northside for the last three years, and now it's expanding to over the Rhine. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us live from Main Street, where the new business opened just about an hour ago. Hi, Joe. Hey, Cammy. if you need to replace your worn out Dark Side of the Moon album, this is the place that you need to shop. Black Plastic kicked off its new location, is kicking it off right now with a grand opening party tonight. As you said, vinyl is hot, but that's only one reason Black Plastic opened a second location. They were recruited because they fit in an eclectic, often overlooked, <laughs> corner of Over the Rhine. Yeah, I'm not open until 5. Hours before the paper came off the windows and the store was set up, Steve Schmall had customers at the okay, new cool. Black Plastic well, location yeah, on Main Street. This is not your grandparents' record store, but grandma and grandpa's records are hot. I think young people, yeah, they're kind of rediscovering this idea of having something physical that you listen to for 40 minutes or so that you know, has a definite beginning and an end compared to like a snippet of a commercial or a song on the radio. Schmall started selling vinyl records three years ago at the first black plastic store on Hamilton Avenue in Northside. He was recruited to Main Street by Motor Pub and the Woodward co-owner Dan McCabe. McCabe sees a natural tie between the bands playing his venues and a neighborhood record store. We hope to have uh, signings with those artists over there at Steve's place and uh, it's going to be an integral part of the promotion for, for our shows. It's a great position uh, for us to promote our shows there at Steve's Place. Uh, it's a natural fit, uh, part of the overall what rock and roll can do for a neighborhood. Dan McCabe talked to us between stints spackling an upstairs wall at the Woodward. He says Main Street is enjoying incremental organic growth by individual small business owners. Libby Andrus opened her boutique two years ago. This north end of Main Street is really starting to develop its own kind of character and it's really interesting to see it progress. It's an ongoing process. Again, it's a very different process than what's at Vine Street. This is bootstraps operations up and down Main Street. You get the door open and you continue to develop and work. Now, Cammie Black Plastic will have the same hours as the north side store, noon to seven, Wednesdays through Sundays, kickoff party down here in the 1400 block of Main Street goes on until 8 o'clock. Lots of albums. Cammy. You know, I actually used to have a copy of Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon on vinyl. I bet you did too, Joe, huh? Actually, I've had two. I wore out one and I've got one that uh, is the newer uh, newer one is probably 30 35 years old but yeah i've uh, i've still got it on vinyl and i've got the wall on vinyl i got a bunch of stuff on vinyl in my basement in boxes i don't listen to it a whole lot anymore but a lot of the stuff that i've got boxed up in my basement i see right here today <laughs> all right cool stuff thank you joe and by the way, Dan McCabe says the north end of Main Street is starting to see more foot traffic. And because of that, on September 1st, he will start serving lunch at Motor Pub.